putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. Um, so let's just let's talk about this. This number five for the Ravens. Let's get to it. All right, so I I see Twitter. It's even trending, Flacco. What? What? It's trending, Flacco. All because Hollywood changed his number to number five, the same number he wore in college. So I know a lot of Flacco lovers and everything. I like Flacco, but he's not the end of be all. Come on now. He's. I ain't gonna get started. Okay. Matter, I am gonna get started on this video. Okay. His numbers, as my little short video I said, he's not in the same range as the other numbers that will never be used as. A raven. He's he's not even in that category. Jonathan Ogden, 75, Hall of Famer. Ray Lewis, 52, Hall of Famer. Ed Reed, number 20, Hall of Famer. Future Hall of Famer. Um, Marshall Yonder, number will never be used again, 73. Terrell Suggs, future Hall of Famer, number 55 never be used again is flacco is it even in that category of a hall of famer no no he's not yes he was elite in the playoffs but he has the same amount as rings he brought the same amount of rings to the ravens as trent dilfer it's a fact. He could have had two. If that drop would have never happened out there. And, oh, I think his name was Evans. I tried to delete his name. And kind of missed the kick. But still, it could have been two rings. Or maybe one. You never know what happened with, with the year after that. Because if he would have won that and then won the Super Bowl, Ray would have left then. But he stayed because it was so close. But come on. I know people say, he shouldn't really. That, those are Hall of Famer. Jonathan Ogden, Ed Reed, Terrell Suggs, Marshall Yonder. Who, who, who did, I, did I forget? Ray Lewis. These are all Hall of Famers. Flacco, you need. Freaking Eli. They even talking about Eli Manning being a Hall of Famer. At least he got two rings. But still. Come on. And he beat Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. But still. You can call me a hater. Call me whatever. And I represented Joe when he was a Raven. But come on. He was he was good, but he wasn't. I'm just say this. They didn't talk about the Ravens offense like how they talk about it now with Lamar. And Lamar's still young, and I know he's going to bring multiple rings. And all that Joe Flacco talk, that's going to be gone. Even the Ravens gave up on Joe, and it's just a fact. That's why they drafted Lamar. They knew it was pretty much curtain call. And ever since Joe left the Ravens, he pretty much been a backup. Pretty much. It's, it's just that he's just getting that moolah now. And I ain't, I ain't mad at him. I would get the same thing. Sitting on that bench getting all that money. But it's just a fact, y'all. It's just he's not in the Hall of Fame. That's why I believe it. And I believe it, the Ravens he just probably discussed it. Should we retire, Joe? Yeah, he's going to be in the ring of honor with the Ravens. But. Should we retire that number? Then they was like, let's think. Is he a Hall of Famer? No. No, he's not. 
not even really not even close to a Hall of Famer for that quarterback level of Hall of Famers. He's not really close. It's just a fact. Tip, prove me if I'm wrong. If you say he's a Hall of Famer, please prove it to me in the comments. Because he's he's not on, like I stated, he's not on the level of the Raven Hall of Famers and future Hall of Famers. He's not on them levels. So just tell me. I'm just being a real Raven fan. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that share. Thanks for the support.